What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video, you guys. I wanted to go ahead and kind of put my disclaimer up real quick, because, girl, you just never know. Um, so anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to talk about the situation with Cassie and her friends and da-da-da-da-da, because, girl, it is a lot going on, and I just feel like it's a lot of stuff that people are not talking about, okay? Now, everyone knew of the situation with Cassie, but no one wanted to help the girl, or was it they were afraid to help the girl, okay? So many people are now deceased and unalive. This story is really becoming one of the most shocking stories of our time, you guys. I'm just being honest, okay? And I guess friendship in Hollywood is fake because as many friends as Cassie thought she had, no one spoke out before Cassie spoke out. And I get it. Cassie probably was like, please don't say anything. Duh, 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 duh. Regardless of the fact of if she was going to, you know, be upset or mad, I still would have tried to help my friend because at the end of the day, I would rather my friend be upset with me than my friend to no longer be here. Accidents happen. Things happen. God forbid. So, yeah, that's how I'm looking at it with that. Now. Yes, people are speaking out now that she finally has spoken out, okay? People she partied with for years with Diddy. Um, you know, now we know Lauren London, Carucci Train, and Christi Christina Million were all besties with her, okay? Plus Carucci, y'all already know what she had going on allegedly. Um, she's Chris Brown's ex, and y'all know what went on with that, okay? So that alone is self-explanatory. And, um, you know, I know Cassie is grown. We all know... We all know that, okay? But like I said, the situation with Karuchi, I think Karuchi, she also, she kept things quiet, what was going on with her too. And like I said, yeah, people business is people business. But when it comes to life or death, uh-uh, boo, okay? Now, you can't make a grown person do anything, but the horror to actually endure this and feel alone with friends all around you, it just, it scares me, okay? And like I said, we all know what Cassie said. We all know the case is settled. We all know that there's a uh, uh, amount that has, you know, they settled for. But the things that Cassie spoke on were very hard to hear, okay? And I know a few may have been triggered. Um, and now everyone is over here reflecting on Diddy's past. In fact, I did a video, you guys. Go check out my previous video of, you know, Fonsworth Bentley. Y'all remember his old butler and stuff? Could y'all imagine what he saw? Also with Corinne Stephens, y'all know Corinne Stephens, aka Superhead. She also had something where she was putting in her book about Diddy as well. Basically, it was up there saying that Diddy wasn't really all that in the bedroom, allegedly. So we don't even know if she really slept with the man. This is all alleged, okay? Now, alleged rumors of all of this, um, all of his staff and his employees signing NDAs, and it's a lot of celebs opening their mouths and saying stuff, okay? Um, and in my, and you know what, also NDAs, you guys, let me tell y'all that NDAs cannot prevent somebody from calling authorities or contacting authorities and all of that. Okay. So let's just put that out there. But in my previous video, we spoke on how Mel, um, Wale and Diddy had a run in behind Cassie. Um, but it goes to show you just how invisible this man thinks that he is. He thought he was very invincible. He thought that nobody could touch him. And, you know, I'm pretty sure R. Kelly thought the same thing. I mean, we've seen clips of R. Kelly. He was very, you know, bold and very adamant on nobody's going to catch them. And he even, I even saw a clip where R. Kelly was like, yeah, they already tried it. It's too late. You can't do anything. So it's really, really crazy, y'all. Okay. Now that Diddy, you know, not Diddy, sorry. Now that R. Kelly's in jail and allegedly broke, Broke, you know, I'm pretty sure that he's seeing what it really is. And I don't wish jail on anybody, you guys. I'm not saying R. Kelly, anything about R. Kelly. Everything is alleged with what's going on with him and rumors that are now circulating, you guys. All of that is alleged, okay? And plus, y'all know he over there suing Tasha K and da 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 okay? It's a lot of stuff going on. But I do know you reap what you sow, okay? What ye shall reap, ye shall also sow, okay? Y'all don't remember. Uh, forget that. So, I definitely don't think that this is the end, okay? Um, Lifetime, we are waiting for the show because at this point, I already know it's coming. Now, I don't remember if... if I don't know. No, 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 no. R. Kelly wasn't in jail when the Lifetime series came out. But girl, if Lifetime did a series on Diddy, y'all know everybody and their mama will be watching this series, okay? And it's probably going to take a little minute. But Lifetime probably going to do their little he, baby. They probably going to interview several people. And I know Cassie going to be on there, okay? And then, girl, allegedly, I heard that Cassie's um husband now was actually um 
one of their personal trainers or something girl i don't know he must have been trying to holler at cassie on the low honey right on the diddy's nose but girl they said that allegedly diddy was very 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 strict with cassie he didn't want nobody around cassie he ain't want nobody looking at cassie a certain way and i even seen a guy that did an interview and he alleged he said that allegedly um did cassie people had to watch how they looked at cassie they could look at cassie a certain type of way and stuff and i would have been like baby please ain't no grown man gonna tell me i can't look at this person and look at that person but yeah girl they said that allegedly diddy was really up here just very very um he was very stern when it came to what i guess he felt like cassie was his property you know um and so y'all already know all the pictures that surfaced and everything like that but you know what i really want to know i want to know what the conversation was with cassie and um karuchi trend because y'all know how what was going around all these allegations okay i'm not saying it's true false whatever yada 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 but we all know what it was with karuchi trend and chris brown and we know that karuchi trend endured a lot at the hands of chris brown allegedly from what she was saying okay so i'm pretty sure that she had somebody to talk to that actually did go through it okay we don't know who else could have gone through we know christina million had her share of relationships bad relationships and things like that i don't recall her ever speaking on um i don't ever recall her ever speaking on any type of um situations where she had to deal with physical abuse okay but i mean i don't know y'all i just feel like if it was me um i understand that they want to be there for their friend ride or die for their friend they don't want their friend to be sad and stuff but i really honestly would have been afraid i would have been like cassie you know since we we love you but you got to do something because at this point you know what i'm saying he could do anything anything could happen you know so maybe that's why cassie had you know allegedly left him because i believe it was a point of time girl where they said that cassie had left him honey okay but i'm so glad and then girl oh i remember a long time ago that diddy was being so petty and he bought up cassie's um husband and i was like why do he just feel so comfortable um bringing up cassie's husband okay but now we know girl he was throwing shade as if yeah nigga you was working for me and come to find out you trying to holler at my lady so i should have been watching you so girl that was a bit much okay um and let me share this screen because girl i'm getting sick of aubrey o'day like i don't know why she keep coming up here like aubrey o'day i understand you you're not telling us nothing you keep coming up here talking about diddy and cassie you're not telling us nothing you're not gonna tell us something please leave us alone i cannot stand these celebrities that be sitting up here trying to act like they got tea or act like they know this oh i know this about diddy i know this about girl it seemed like you don't know nothing because you're not telling us nothing so girl she was up here she she says somebody says aubrey o'day is disappointed this is complex they said aubrey o'day is disappointed that cassie settled a lawsuit against diddy and it says money over accountability every time she wrote so aubrey says i was talking about diddy not cassie she told her story she was brave the person that needed to be hold, held accountable was puff not her justice is a word that means nothing to those that can afford its grasp okay so aubrey i mean at this point y'all i'm sorry i'm not trying to be me but i'm really am getting tired of her i'm not trying to hear her no more because she really just trying to insert herself girl if diddy did something to you girl what did it did baby if you can't tell us what it did can you go move around so the next person can come up here okay now diddy's lawyer releases a statement following cassie lawsuit settlement he says just so we're clear a decision to settle a lawsuit especially in 2023 is in no way an admission of wrongdoing mr combs's decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way under determine his flat out denial of the claim he is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes miss ventura the best so that was words from uh ben brathman lawyer of uh diddy okay um and you know so they said that she settled the lawsuit i feel like this it is what it is it's her business if the girl settled the lawsuit the girl settled the lawsuit hell it is what it is give the girl her money because i feel like i feel like the girl did suffer something i feel like the girl did go through something so just give the lady her money it is what it is i wouldn't care when nobody got to say baby you ain't go through what i went through baby so i wouldn't even kill that's just my humble opinion so anyway you guys let me know what y'all think girl about this whole entire situation do y'all think that cassie was wrong for going ahead and settling the lawsuit do y'all think that diddy was really you know remorseful for everything that was going on child we don't know but we just gonna keep our 
ears to the streets, okay? So we'll know what's going on. Anyway, you guys, keep your hearts pure and your souls divine, and I'll see y'all in the next one.